Hello everyone, who talking? And uh, today I'm going to cover Chicken Bones Forge Multipart API. So uh, let's begin with uh, the download. Uh, Google Chicken Bones and uh, look for his uh, main thread. As you briefly saw in the last tutorial, here is the link files.minecraftforge.net slash forge multipart now forge multipart is not in any way related to forge itself don't forget that so 1.7.10 developer and source save and save On. Okay. So Minecraft modding tutorials, clips, mods. Here you drop Forge Multipaths development and uh, source. We created this folder last time. You drop source okay so now we do that link thingy come on minecraft clips parts and watch multi parts okay and okay so that uh, we can build using that API. Now, uh, we will need to attach a source so we can do something like, uh, let's see. So a quick way to link that source is this. Navigate uh, to Forge Multipath in uh, Maps don't hit their reference libraries. Right click and properties. Yes. Java source attachment. There it is. So source forge multipath source. Okay, okay. There we go. So now we can read all the code in here. So forge multipath comes with a mod already working that is this mod right here Minecraft multipart mod this is basically an example mod and uh, you can uh, use this freely so how do we set up our modding environment now first things first is add a pen, pen sees here and we do after forge multi part so that basically minecraft knows that uh, forge multi part needs uh, to be run before our mod so that we can use uh, the code inside the forge multipaths. This is the first step. Now, what we do is go look in here inside content and we basically create a new class in our mod that implements ipart factory and ipart converter. So new class we we'll call this part register okay and you implement those interfaces 
we add the, the unimplemented methods and there we go so let's take a look create part needs name and client then we have convert world and pose and last but not least this so we can just do this new array dot as list and basically in this method we return all the blocks that uh, can be turned into multiparts so in our example mod we have our block example which I already created is basically a pillar as you can see from these uh, bounds and uh, we can do sample mod dot block example there we go and this is done convert now convert does this gets the block Oops. sorry gets the block at those coordinates pose as uh, the x, uh, y and z fields three integers and if block is particular block returns a part so if b equal to example mod dot block example turn new example part that I will create soon return all otherwise and next is create part so if name dot equals to Let's call this sample mod slash uh, my block. This is a, is a string that you will need uh, to remember for later. And what you do is return a new part. Example. So let's create uh, this example part. There we go. Uh, don't extend tire multipart. No, no, no. Extend stat. Let's see. Minecraft meta part. There it is. port that and add unimplemented methods ok so turn null otherwise are you cool? yes good now in here mm, minecraft meta part of course extends uh, minecraft block pass that extends uh, jq void part, that extends uh, tq void part, that extends uh, t multiparts. So that's basically what's happening. <laughs> it's quite long, yes. But long story short, uh, let's take a look at torch. Uh, torch, the torch part extends. Uh, Minecraft sided meta part 
instead of Minecraft Metapart, but it's, it looks uh, quite similar, so we'll base on this. So get block returns the block. Door example mod dot block example. Get type returns this code you got in here. And this uh, is basically mm, a unique uh, identifier for your part. And then you have uh, the get bounds. So what you do is return a new cuboid 6 and uh, we will basically use uh, this. So 0 0.2, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 1, 0 0.8. They don't have to be floats, they're doubles. Also, remember that uh, we need uh, some kind of method like this, or at least uh, these line of codes, these lines of code in our free init, uh, or maybe in here, maybe. <laughs> so let's create a public void init method that does this just copy that and return the string okay and we will need to call uh, this method inside our init so here new part register dot init. Okay. So now we are ready to launch Minecraft. And uh, I cut this part. So see you in a moment. So I just logged in and uh, here as here is uh, a block example and if you do this correctly should be able to yes a block is basically a multi-part as you can see it's all in one block space let's check in Of course you can't put the cover over because far block bounds. We take a look, example part 0 and 1. This is not enough basically for a cover to exist. And uh, well, that's it basically. If you want to create uh, multiple parts for your mod, just remember that you need uh, to add uh, all the unique identifiers in here as an array <coughs> and uh, do this uh, if basically for all your paths and create uh, a new path for uh, all of your blocks that needs uh, that need to be convertible basically so uh, the block bounds uh, just copy the unique identifier must be unique and uh, this is the block basically it's all nice and easy and uh, next time we'll probably explore more about uh, minecraft meta part over minecraft block part and uh, compare to minecraft sided meta part because uh, you need to be able to choose basically which one to use so i hope you like this and uh, yeah see you next time arrivederci